Hello, I'm Katie Hornbeck, Grants Manager from the East Bay Regional Park District, and I'm going to show you around our recently completed restoration site at Bay Point Regional Shoreline. Historically, the Bay Point Regional Shoreline comprised a broad range of ecological communities, including large expanses of emergent saline marsh, seasonal wetland, wet meadow, open water, channel, riparian scrub, and grassland. Most of the historic habitats were lost or significantly degraded over the past 100 years. There were four goals of this project, restore wetlands, enhance uplands and wildlife habitats, and adapt to sea level rise. This would be accomplished by earthwork activities aimed at restoring the historic marsh plain and channels, seeding and planting the terrestrial transition zone, and implementation of an extensive vegetation plan focused on establishing target ecosystem land use types, including a weed detection and response plan. Thanks to the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta Conservancy, Prop 1 funds benefited this project immensely. Combined with funds already secured, the Prop 1 grant completed the funding needed for construction, which included earthwork, habitat restoration, planting and weed control, and the first two years of maintenance and monitoring. This project presented a valuable opportunity to the Delta by hydrologically reconnecting the site to the adjacent marsh and tidal slough complex and convert weedy, low-quality seasonal wetlands and rural land cover back to the high-value habitats including saline emergent marsh, and associated tidal channels, grassland, and upland transition zone. As seen in this drone footage, the Prop 1 grant also funded the approximately 50-foot long channel bridge. This maintains current public access over the excavated tidal emergent marsh. Additionally, Prop 1 funded approximately 5,000 linear feet of fence which was installed for habitat protection. Waterfowl, shorebirds, passer and birds, mammals, reptiles, amphibians, and fish including the Delta Smelt, Winter Run Chinook Salmon, and Steelhead all benefited from the restoration work, as the Bay Point Regional Shoreline lies within a region designated by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service as a critical habitat for them. The nearly 150-acre parkland is at the approximate midpoint of the San Francisco Bay Estuary and the Sacramento-San Joaquin River Delta. These saltwater and freshwater systems have historically been a major influence on the lives and natural surrounding of the Bay Point community. The newly restored park provides a rare recreational opportunity where public access to the Delta is extremely scarce due to military and heavy industrial uses along the 20-mile stretch of shoreline between Martinez and Oakland. The public can now enjoy better views of the Sisuan Bay and opportunities for hiking, bird watching shoreline fishing, nature study, and other recreational pastimes. Using non-Prop 1 funding sources, the project also provided sea level rise, resilient ADA accessible trails and overlooks around the entire restoration area, as well as environmental educational panels to support park district naturalist-led programs. In addition to the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta Conservancy's Prop 1 grant, the project was also funded by the Land and Water Conservation Fund and the Habitat Conservation Fund through the California Department of Parks and Recreation. Funding was also provided by Contra Costa County, the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, and Measure WW. This project was supported by Contra Costa County Flood Control and Water Conservation District, the San Francisco Bay Joint Venture, California Rec Trails Committee, California State Lands Commission, the Contra Costa County Department of Conservation and Development, the Delta Protection Committee, John Muir Land Trust, the San Francisco Bay Water Trail Group, and Friends of the Delta Trail. Thank you for your support, and we look forward to seeing you in the parks. You can find more project information at ebparks.org.